r slash ask reddit ex assistance to rich powerful people what's the most messed up behavior you witnessed during your employment i was briefly an assistant to a seer of a large company in my country i live in northern europe and this guy was a real asshole to everyone i just made coffee ran with mail and copied things i say briefly because i only worked there for three weeks I made an honest mistake, copying the wrong documents, resulting in a brief embarrassment on his side in an in-house meeting with some of the other big guys of the firm. I got called into his office, and knowing his history with previous assistants, I was visibly nervous. He then began absolutely shredding me for 15 minutes, completely red in the head, spit flying in my face as he stood above me, basically ripping me a new one. I started crying. This was my first job, and I was 15 at the time, and he stopped shouting. He took one finger to my chin, lifted my face up, so I looked straight at him, and then he said you're a nobody. Don't you ever forget that. And then he threw some paperwork at me to let me officially know that I was fired, which I then had to pick up from the floor, and then he yelled at me to get the hell out of his office. <laughs> Using in my alt account. I work with, or for, this really old guy who is in his 80s. He tells me stories all the time from his past of all the crazy shit he's done there, before coming to America, and making his fortune here. The country he is from is known for corruption, especially in the past, when he was there. He was a son of a influential and rich af politician. In his teenager years he used to basically do whatever he wanted. Think the devil's double, but on a smaller scale. He said girls used to flock to him no matter what, because he had money like that. There was this one girl he said, didn't give him any chances and he really wanted her. So he took her, and threw her into the car, taking her to the middle of the forest, before coercing her into having sex, pretty much fucking rape. The girl's dad found out, and he complained to the police. Instead of taking my seer to jail, they made up a funny charge against the dad, and threw him in jail. The dad was forced to drop the charges for his freedom. The police, the judge and any person with influence was in this guy's pocket. That's one of the most fucked up things I ever heard. And he told the story almost as if he's proud of it. I interned at a production company. The seer made me go get a new Blackberry for him. Took 4 hours to go downtown because it had to be bought in downtown la for whatever reason. When I brought it back, he opened the plastic, turned it on, and asked what the fuck is this? Why aren't my numbers on it? Well, it's brand new, you haven't updated it yet. This is useless, what the fuck have you been doing for 4 hours? Well I was. Smash. And he threw it on the ground. Literally. Just smashed it. Fucking useless. I was flabbergasted. In high school, I helped do it for a billionaire at his ranch. This guy had a private fiber run 40 plus miles out there. I put network drops, routers, desktop PCS, and TVS into several barns and guest houses. I was out there once working right before the owner was coming for a visit with some friends. Everything had to be perfect, so I was replacing some never been used year old computers with the latest never to be used models. Something went wrong with the shipping, and some things weren't on time. I talked to his assistant, and some guy flew the gear out the next day. This was the 90s, and we are talking some routers and a couple of Dells. Blew my teenage mind. I was also impressed by his personal chefs, husband, and wife, who arrived a few days before he did. Up until then, I don't think I really believe people still had full time staff like that. They were Italian, and didn't speak much English. Mostly they just shouted at each other. It was awkward when I was installing gear in the kitchen. They were yelling and occasionally throwing things, but were very nice to me. Made me lunch one day even. Best sandwich I've ever had. I got to meet some of the other staff as well, and it was so weird to me. The ranch foreman basically ran the place like it was his, but there was no profit or anything. It just existed for the one or two times a year someone came out. Horses, some cattle, chickens, the whole deal. Just sort of hanging out. He made six figures. The pilot who flew the computers out did all sorts of errand running, exclusively for this one guy. If there was no tasks, he just relaxed. He said he sometimes got to spend a week or more someplace exotic, just in case he was needed. I had a pro golfer hire me solely to list 90% of his belongings on eBay. Everything from huge TVS to golf club head covers. 
The odd part was he wanted everything listed for $0.99 and shipped as fast as possible when it inevitably sold. I lost that job when he went to jail for procuring said items with illegally gained funds from his invalid sister's inheritance. I was questioned, but since I had no idea how he got rich, no charges were ever brought up on me. I just thought he was a weird eccentric rich guy that wanted new toys, and I assumed he had invested his pro golf earnings over the years. He was sponsored by Nike after all. I may or may not have carried a coked out girlfriend and a large amount of drugs out of my boss's house, seer of a very large company, while she was covered in puke and cocaine so his wife wouldn't catch him as she arrived home from her sister's house a day early. Full story. My old boss regularly cheated on his wife with any number of women. Well, he calls me one day because we are friends away from work and asks me to come to his apartment to sap. I drive over there and he's blitzed and this chick is laying naked in her own vomit, maybe his too, mumbling about something. He says he has to shower and clean the vomit up, because his wife is 10 minutes away so please get that cunt out of here. I grab the girl, and help her to her feet and cover her up with a shirt. As I'm walking her out he yells for me to grab the party bag. The only bag is a dop kit. I grab it, jump in my car and drive off. This chick is blasted. She doesn't know where she lives, and is sure she's having a heart attack. So I calm her down somewhat, and reach in her purse and find her id. Luckily she has her current address on it, and I take her home. I drive back to my house and pull into the driveway, and remember the dop kit. I open it up, and there's a sugar cube sized piece of meth, free, approximate, grams of kind bud, and what has to be an 8 ball of cocaine. Someone who isn't me smoked the bud but sold, at way below market value, the meth and the cocaine. I got a steak dinner and a few beers later that week from the boss. Needless to say, I no longer work there. The CTO of an it company I worked for was born into a rich family and didn't know how to talk with his inferiors. He was so bad at human interaction Arcia forced him to go to some kind of class to learn how to interact with humans. This Dutch bag loved Porsches. He drove a couple to work, and he had one he would race at amateur races occasionally. One day one of our cowalkers failed to meet us for lunch, because he was broadsided on the way to the restaurant. For some reason after the accident he came back to work. We were standing around his cube, and he's telling us about his car getting totaled, when the CTO walked up. After hearing the story the CTO says, and I'm not embellishing, at least it wasn't a push. Then he laughed and walked off. I worked for owners, three brothers, of a private bank, and managed their properties. One had first edition uncut classic books purely for decoration. He also had a rolls which required new tires due to sitting unused for months at a time. The steel belts flattened from the weight of the car. One wife called me all but accusing someone, me, of eating an $8 pizza at their country club which after numerous far more than $8 international calls, turned out to be her son in town having lunch. This from someone with a running balance over 10 million dollars on any given day. I didn't work, but was good friends, and still am, with this kid whose mother was an executive for a big gaming company. Basically she would attend PAX East, pretty big gaming convention, every year and with such would give her kids tickets for themselves and their friends. I wasn't one of those friends that year, but I got tickets for Christmas, and we still went together, and oh my god Wartha's mother did literally send shivers down my spine. When we went to the booth, where she was at, that year she was advertising a new game, I don't think it ever hit off, if it did I don't remember the name of the game then. When she saw me, and her son get to little show floor she pushed every kid out of the way, so that we could be first in line, and actually got a kid kicked out for throwing a fuss about it. I wanted to say something, but my parents had paid $50 for me to get to the convention and I wasn't looking to get kicked out before even being there for an hour. She was a nice lady though, she was able to get basically a few of everything that the popular exhibits were handing out, hats, shirts, wristbands, coupon codes. I became friends with a colleague, a delightfully wealthy man and a minor member of European royalty. He wore bespoke suits on his time off, like, he specifically had them made for lounging. He had a £12,000 walking suit. He was very kind and affable, however out of touch with reality he was. I taught him how to order pints at the pub. The first time I showed him how to do it, he didn't have money, because he never carried a wallet. 
He was in his 40s and led an active social life, but always had a servant on hand to do everything. I wasn't exactly an assistant but a concierge. Rich guy drove his car up onto the sidewalk in front of the building and ended up with a DUI. A couple months later he asked me to start his car for him by blowing into a breathal as a ignition after he spent the evening across the street at a bar. I declined. The one that made me the most mad was two very well off families in the building, lawyers and consultants. They were neighbors and best friends. Extremely conservative and active in trying to deny any kind of social services in the city and state. 4 p.m. was cocktail hour as they called it. They would load up on all sorts of prescription drugs and sit in the lobby bragging about how high they were. They had no shame about hiding it. They would talk about how disgusting it was, that pot was being legalized, and how it was going to ruin their neighborhood. Sometimes if the husband slash lawyer was really far gone he would loudly discuss his client's cases in front of everyone. Then their prep school kids would arrive home and everyone would head out to the most expensive restaurant in the neighborhood. Other than that there was a lot of general entitlement, shacking up with people who aren't their spouses in the building's swimming pool, etc. I now need for a tech millionaire. His wife had a raging eating disorder, which she covered up by being an athlete, and he didn't care enough to address. They had three children that she couldn't stand. She had a full-time housekeeper and two nannies to keep her kids from interacting with her. When dad was around, all smiles, as soon as he wasn't, she would get as far away from the kids as possible. She also signed them up for loads of activities so that she never had to see them. They all were in therapy at very very young ages. I now need for a couple of other families like this. Wives don't work, but don't interact with their kids either. They just shop and lounge all day. And there's domestic violence in these families that's super well hidden. I saw a husband inches from his wife's face, shouting his head off, because they were out of post-it notes and me, and the other nanny just kept right on cleaning, because we needed the job. Ugh. I hate rich people. They have the kind of problems that money doesn't fix. I used to be the assistant of a celebrity photographer in make. Mostly hip hop celebrities and New York nightlife. This guy fucked so many women behind his wife's back, it was obscene. Once there was this model who needed portraits taken, but my boss was fucking her and his wife was suspicious. So he had me take the pictures instead. Except he drove me there with his wife, but had to drop me off across town so his wife wouldn't know where I was going. Had to walk 20 blocks to get to the model's apartment. Also, if we worked until 3 a.m., which was common, I would have to crash at his place or else I would have to sit in Penn Station for hours until the first NJ Transit train. He made me sleep on the floor. Even though he had a couch, I had to sleep on the floor. Everyone involved in the Nick Upper Class are bastards. Bastard coated bastards with bastard filling. Just waiting to fuck you over. Over the summer one year, I signed up to be an extra for a film by a man who had won an Oscar for directing a particular film because I liked theater. When I got there, I actually ran into the director almost immediately who proceeded to tell me that I would no longer be an extra even though I said twice no, sir, I'm supposed to be in these three scenes and instead would be his wife's assistant for the day. She wasn't in the movie. She was just observing all day. But she still had a change of clothes for when she left that needed to go in a dressing room again, even though she wasn't acting in the movie. The guy, from what I can tell, is just the egotistical kind of wealthy and not actually super rich, but the Oscar went to his head and he used it as an excuse to treat everyone on set like sh- Thanks for watching up goat reddit. Try like and subscribe button if it still works.